It's the rundown. It's Tuesday, August 15th. Uh, it's brought to you by Movement Watches. I'm rocking a new Movement Watch today. I got you got one too. We got one too. This one's cool though. I, I have Black the le I have leather bands and I have that one, but this is like a little. It pops. Catches it the pop. eye. It's very nice. They got a lot of different styles. A lot of different. Um, mine's mine's nicer, but that one's very nice too. I, Actually, yours I, might be nicer. Disrespectfully, uh, I disagree with you yeah. on that one. Yeah, it's a very nice. Uh, one. They also have the sunglasses. You want to get a new pair of shades? Movement has you covered there. It's also their fourth anniversary, so shout out to them. Happy fourth birthday! It was just Duncan's fourth birthday too. So, oh, Movement oh, and Duncan, shout out Duncan have been changing the world for the past Love four it. years together. Right now, uh, the site is the whole everything on the site, fifteen percent off if you use the URL mvmt.com/rundown. So mvmt.com/rundown, fifteen percent off absolutely everything in honor of the four-year anniversary. I was watching the rollerblading nuns. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yeah, the, let's just start with that. Okay, yeah. You want to start with that? Rollerblading cool. nuns. Yeah. If you got a bad thing to say about a bunch of nuns rollerblading, you got a big dump in your pants. Yeah. What's not to like? I like that one that like did a little hop. Yeah. That was big time. That, that, was, like, that was like jumping out of a plane that was for a night. Yeah. Like that was crazy. Yeah. That was adrenaline rush. They got moves though. They all yeah. they all could you know. Yeah, I like cut it up out there. The lady says she's like, we all met each other because we all dressed the same. I'm like, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> Your nuns meet nuns. each other because they dress. That's how they roll. They just rollerblading around. It looked like L.A. I don't know where right. it was, yeah. but it looked right. like L.A. Like Venice Beach, sort of, just yeah. cruising right. around town in your habit and shit. Whatever. And it was just like, yeah, we just, just bumped into a bunch of rollerblading nuns. <laughs> Let the nuns live. I do like how like Fox News just kind of has to like find random shit to talk about though. Oh yeah, like, like we can't really talk we about get to anything Trump that's every happening. single time. <laughs> so talk so, yeah. about these these old birds rolling like, around town. And it's summertime too, so it's like either someone died off like in a roller coaster, like America's <laughs> fat. Uh, and then and then in the winter it's always like flight delays. Like there's some <laughs> usual shit that they can just bank on. I'm well, surprised yeah, you I haven't dived into the rollerblading. I could see you just being like, we're rollerbladers now. I blade every now and then. My dad's a rollerblader. I got yeah, some that's blades. That's funny. I like, have blades like, in the bodega. Like my dad's like a big rollerblader. Yeah. So oh. Weird. And if you if you know Mr. Feidelberg, I, like he's like jacked and kind of like you wouldn't like just, really fuck around with him, but then he's just like <laughs> lacing up my blades. <laughs> Does your dad rollerblade with uh, hockey? It's fucking loud in here. It's yeah, so it really loud. Really, it's loud. Quiet in there. <laughs> There we go. Oh, Coley. you guys. Coley has Coley. new duties. Coley just does, fucking flexed. Does your dad rollerblade with hockey gloves and a stick? I feel like he would. <laughs> no? I feel like he'd just be cruising around town looking for a pickup game. But, he, but like, and like, he does like such weird things too, but like he talks about it like he like he's like it's badass still. Yeah, like, I'm still out there blading, just, bro. Uh, yeah. what, what are you up to tonight, daddy? Like, gotta fucking switch my blades around. Like he like rotates, rotates the, the wheels. wheels. That's amazing. <laughs> you gotta do that. Yes, he got big into gardening. He like. He like, but he talks about gardening like it's badass too. Like, this is called the midlife. You should check out the garden, man. It's looking great. Like, what are you talking about, dude? <laughs> tomatoes. <laughs> tomatoes this, this season looking fresh. Uh, ESPN, speaking of, I guess, you know, dog days of summer sort of thing, everybody's got to come up with content. They decided this new bit as football season arrives for fantasy football, they were going to do a live auction. Wait, are you following on the side of the live auction is bad? Yeah, well, uh, no, not bad. Like, how did somebody, oh, how does this, this make is, it to air? The, no, this is classic, like. They're doing it, it to, to. Like, they, they did an auction, and I think Brady and Gronk got auction too. They picked 20 seconds of Odell Beckham. So when you take it totally out of context, yeah, I guess you could find it problematic, but it's like, it's an auction draft that happens every fucking August. And there were white guys drafted too, like, what the fuck? Next on the auction box, we got Odell Beckham Jr. Do I have fifteen dollars? Fifteen, then we're gonna fifteen, sixteen, seven hundred, we're gonna be eighteen dollars, now nineteen, gonna be twenty, twenty one, we're gonna be two, three, twenty four dollar, bit five, six, seven, twenty seven, twenty. I hear you. I that think part, no, I, that's the I, mean, yeah, I totally is, disagree. I that hate is, that shit. It's from, I'm, it's I'm from the movie Get yeah. Out. Yeah. But like, I hate that, that shit. exact scene happens dude, in the movie Get Out. it's a fucking football auction. Dude, I am not offended by this. I'm saying you have to know that now you cannot have a paddle of a black guy's face and a bunch of white guys trying to buy it. I'll but tell you what, I think Brady you can. Grunk, I think you can. I mean, Rogers. you clearly can't because it's an issue. No, but this, it's this not wasn't, a, it's, this it's wasn't a football a auction. It's an issue in you. like the Twitter sphere. Like it's not a real That was for clicks, right. I, I, yeah, I mean, all of these things are like fake problems, but right. this, is, this is not going to fly see, anytime soon. I'm going to flip it on you. Th it actually makes me, like, there's real issues in this time of right. our country. It you can't be fucking real getting shit. pissed about a fantasy football auction. But they will every single time. No. Uh -huh. They will. No, no they, they will every time. time. They're just wrong. They just shouldn't. They're just wrong. Right. By the way, did you guys see those It was people? funny it when did. the guy got up and did a double point, though, like, yeah. I just bought Odell Beckham. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that was awkward. When, when I read the title, I was like, yeah, this is going to be problematic. They're going to get in trouble no, for it. No, fuck Then that. when I saw him, though, no. lift the paddle and then be like, fuck 25, that, 25, 25. It's like, Whoa. sold to you, white man. 
Kevin that Fallen made me laugh. This is classic live live yeah, KFC. Yeah. So live. Yeah, fallen live for stool. The fake news. Sold out. Churning. Our By the way, did you see this? the uh, the the whole statue, the monument that went down, and the people kicking it? That was unbelievable. It was no, like they were kicking that. like metal. They, you didn't see it last night. That no. was a big. That was a big to do. It's like you, the you then Clay Travis like that. spun. Dude, Clay, that guy. He's some some kind of snake sometimes. Well, what did he spend? Because I, I tweeted at him, and then I was like, well, we're supposed to kind of stick to sports here. So I texted him. I was like, you're so fucking wrong about this monument. And then he called me, and I basically was like, you're so wrong. And you he was, to Clay yes, he on. called me. That's great. And I was like, you're wrong. We like basically debated history for like three minutes, and then he almost invited himself on part of my take. And I was like, no thanks. And then he went on Twitter and was like, Big Cat and I just had a great discussion. I saw that. The world. I was like, dime you fucking you out. Yeah. Bag. <laughs> like, We literally only talked about a statue for three minutes about like Civil War statues. But that's statue. exactly what he does. He's like, oh, right. if I say that I just had a private conversation with Big Cat. Right, it's like, guilty, you but. asshole. Like, that's, that's how you make several hundred billion dollars. <laughs> I was pissed. <laughs> fucking idiot. Uh, we got this pastor who commented on Instagram from one of these big booty hoes and said, I'll, I it want was, to. No, it wasn't a big, it was Nicki Minaj. Oh, right. It was, it was the big booty hoe. The, the, the queen of the big booty hoe. Uh, he said, I'll eat that booty. Uh, ass eating season. Then is now claiming that it's not ass eating season. It's that he had a, someone is making a fake Instagram account of him. Because that happens Finstagram. all the time to a, ra- a random crap. I learned that phrase this weekend. Oh, wow. You've been late. Finstagram? Finstagram. You're late. Yeah. You are late. And then late I guess they call you John You're so late. Are you like 79? It was, it was, uh, do you know what a Winstagram is? That one I don't know. That's, you, that, I learned about Finstagrams Finstagram and Winstagram. No. She's going to have one. you got to be woke on that, Kevin. She's going to have a Finstagram. The, the she is. Like, that's, 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 it's she the probably teens. does. I probably just don't know The yet. teens use the Finstagrams. Yeah. You know that's why. Yeah. You I just did. found out. I just found out about it. That's What's wrong with you, man? I don't Where know. you been? I'm, I'm embarrassed. Man. I'm an embarrassed. You're too busy. I'm an embarrassed. But the the <laughs> ass eating things for me. I, well, this actually kind of made me just think about like just ass eating in general. Yeah. yeah. That, that's gotten away from us. What do you mean? We let that like, spiral out of control. Yeah, like we, it, it, it used got, to be like a small niche, and now everybody's eating. It, like it That's was one of those strength. things. Like it started. Like you're vaping. Like it started yeah. as a joke, I think. And yeah. now, like if you're not eating ass, you're a pussy. So Correct. It's like, if you're not putting your tongue in a shithole, mm-hmm. you're a pussy. Facts. I don't like it though. That's, Facts. Yo, like I'm. Everything like, you said is the fact. I do it. Curve. Like I'm not a fucking curve. pussy, but like it's just like. I think it was. It started as an internet the joke. The fact that we and now got pastors like, being like, "I'm gonna eat that ass." I'm eat but that's ass. how it happens. It's like when Jackass was big and everyone started fucking jumping off shit and like tasing each other. And then we all woke up one day and we're like, "This is kind of fucked up." Someday we're all gonna be like, "Wow, we've been eating a lot of ass for no reason." <laughs> Like and it histori- just happens like Historians that. are going to look back and be just like, right, from like 2005 <laughs> yeah. to 2020, yeah, like so everybody happened. licked each other's ass. Right. Everyone it was, was great. E. coli and pink it's, eye. Dude, it, was, online, it was an epidemic in the world of E. coli and pink eye. Online peer pressure is real. Because <laughs> I mean, the eating season has definitely been pushed on us. But guess what? Are you going to be the one not eat ass? No, absolutely exactly. For the record, it's not exactly. pushed on me. I willingly do it. Whatever. <laughs> I, I like feel like the first time I did it was like accidental. Like it was kind of just like I was drunk. Whoops, went a little too low. I was drunk and like just going in like after that. I kind of just stuck. Like it's just right. the season, baby. It's like a, it's always it's a, it's a prank. It's a shit, and then you're all of a sudden you're just making Next thing you know, man, like you don't even touch a vagina anymore. It's just no, a butthole. No, fuck that. Straight to the ass. <laughs> like, you want me to suck your clit? What are you fucking gay? <laughs> oh boy. Uh, what else have we got here? Let's. Bill Gates is fucking. Bill Gates. You think Bill Gates eats ass? I think he does. I think, I mean, he's a big tech guy, so he probably sees a lot of internet stuff. And, and, and they like, be, he wants to be cool. Yeah. Bill oh, Gates did, like Bill Gates made the poop be. water. Remember that? Oh, a few years yeah. ago? He definitely eats ass. <laughs> what he made, he made this huge machine. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, that cleaned that, your like, poop water. It's, it's, it's this entire machine that's like <laughs> the biggest machine ever, and, and they like squeeze a bunch of like millions of pounds of poop for a drop of water. He's like, We'll solve the world. Bill Gates was the original. He was the kid. Yeah. He started as He's like, he we'll just put one of these in Africa. It's like, dude, that thing that thing has to cost like $500 billion. Well, Can he, we just he, buy a couple of cases of Poland Springs? He's got money to burn. He just donated $4.6 billion, which is the biggest try-hard move ever. It's, it's not even real to him, right? How do you even come up with a number of $4.6 billion? Why don't yeah. you make it five? Why don't you make it four? Four point six? Four and a half, five. Six point nine. That would have been cool. Yeah, Could have nice. had. You probably would have got more play. That's a tough check. Like, writing a check ever... Is like it sucks. Zero, like it's, zero, it's, zero, it's, zero. You're zero. just like ah, this is. What are the logistics it's a process. of that? So like writing a four point six billion dollar check. I don't what know it, how you fit that in. Well, what is like? Does he have a savings account? Does Bill Gates have a savings account with like a hundred billion dollars in it? <laughs> He's like, I'll just fucking quit. Just pay straight you. liquid. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, like, you're how does that open? Your four point six. How does that work though? Yeah. That's, how do you that's get money? I can't even wrap my head around, man. 
All I know is that it's, I would it's just a dickhead move. I, it, not, it doesn't matter how much money I had, I would stop giving that money just because like, I'd get halfway through the check and be like, you know what, this is a Who do you give it to? I don't know. And you just, I the, the immediate thing I think is like, why can't I just Hey, who like, did Bill Gates give his money that. to? Yo, bro, give me 100 grand right 4. now. Give me 4.5 billion. That would change my fucking life forever. Yeah. Just Come give on. me 100 grand. That's nothing. I'm, I'm still a college kid, really. Like, give me $300. And you're happy. Yeah. Like, as long as I can, like, <laughs> ball out you know, one in night. college, you got, like, a $50 check. Like, oh, yeah. Shit, like, I'm well, Dan said he could disappear and restart his life for $10,000. Yeah. In college, I worked at a call center, and I... You did? Yeah. Like Michael Scott? Yeah, where I called people... Like during dinner, being like, "Please donate to University of Wisconsin." Oh and fuck you, man! And I walked oh, out. The mi- worst I walked call. out mid shift because I did the math of exactly when I'd have enough money to like get through the like get enough beer money for the semester. I just walked out. I was like, "I'm out. I'm Good done. Enough. I'm done. Good enough." Put the check in the mail. It's uh, kind of BS. He gave it to uh, 4.6 billion in Microsoft shares. To the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Oh, oh you just yeah, yeah, get the fuck what out of It's like Tom Brady. <laughs> and then you get your headlines. I'm so, I'm so, you know. That's bull. Yeah, fuck then Bill everyone Gates. writes the headlines. Um, Let's do that for ourselves. I'm going to donate to the Kevin Clancy Fund. Yeah. I'm going to give my entire life savings yeah. to the Kevin Clancy Fund. <laughs> it goes to help raise two little kids. Yeah. Yeah, how about Ooh, that? I'm done. a fucking hero. What a bullshit uh, thing that. <laughs> I'm glad we found that out in the middle that of That changes everything right there. Fuck Bill Gates. The Bill and I'm Melinda Fund. I'm never buying a Microsoft product ever Yo, again. I haven't in a decade, and I won't ever again. Final Bergen KFC Fund? You heard about that one? <laughs> Let's donate. <laughs> Fucking what? asshole. I don't have much to donate, but... What does Microsoft even make anymore? The surface. the surface. The Surface. The Surface. Tablets. Shout and out to the, the NFL. Xbox. That's about it. Uh, Lucky Lo- Logan Lucky is in theaters on Friday. This movie is being praised by critics left and right. It's a uh, feel-good, funny comedy blockbuster. It's got Channing Tatum. It's got Adam Driver. It's got Seth MacFarlane. It's got Daniel Craig, who actually, you know, he always kind of plays that like brooding James Bond Englishman type. Yeah, Apparently it's like a now. total departure from Whoa. that. Like he's cutting that loose. That fucks my brain, by the way. What's that? When people switch accents. Oh yeah, big time. It's fucked up. When, uh, what's his name, Stringer Bell is like English. Yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah, that'll always fuck with your no head. Sense. House, Dr. House was the big one. When, yeah. when I first, Brody from Homeland. I watched House for like yeah. five years and then I was like, wait, this dude. Brody. Brad Pitt being Australian. <laughs> Uh, Logan Lucky. I didn't uh, think about that. Mel Gibson. That, that's it, a surprise. Is he Australian? Mel Gibson's Australian. Now. What? He doesn't have an accent, right? He is. Yeah. He's uh, from Australia. Mel Gibson's yeah. from Australia. But he doesn't. I just turned around on me. I did a joke <laughs> and I just. Are you serious? I swear to God. Yeah. <laughs> what the? F- <laughs> How do you end up so racist? <laughs> yeah. It's like oh, Australia's Australia. super racist. Yeah, that's true. The Aborigines. Yeah. <laughs> Australians are this is good. This In fact, out. you know what? America gets a bad rap with the racism. Just forward digging We're through like our shit good. Like, yeah. like, compared to Australia? That's like, <laughs> okay, even, let's stop. Even like, dude, like we the, just had a Nazi but, ra- rally. But, like, all right, the, yeah, but those came from Europe. Yeah, but. Like, they, they were Europeans, True. weren't they? True. Dude, like, before like EPL games, like they have to have like videos yeah. being like, don't throw bananas at the black guys. Mm-hmm. That's true. At least we don't have to do that yeah, for no, a football we're a game. Very, very racially harmonious. We just country. yell yeah, at the guy who took it. We got. We're good. We're good. <laughs> nah, we're good. There's no, there's no like <laughs> problems think about with it, race good. relations at all. Anyway, back to Lucky <laughs> Logan. Oh, that one got ad? out of hand back, real quick. Oh, back to Logan ad. Lucky. Okay. It's uh, People Magazine's number one pick <laughs> of the summer. It's entertainment. Inter- entertainment Weekly has it on their must watch list, which is you know you can only throw around four or five must watches a year, so that's a big deal. Logan Lucky in theaters on Friday. Fuck these teens, man. These teen influencers, Uh-oh. which is the buzzword of the moment in our world. If I hear the word influencer one more time, yeah. I'm going to strangle whoever says Kevin it to me. And yeah. I, Kevin and I had to do, we went to L.A. a couple of months ago to do a video for uh, Rec, the TV, TV show. show. And they were calling us influencers. Like, they, yeah, they kept just, saying, it just means you have Twitter followers. Yeah, and they kept saying, as that. influencers, you guys should cross-pollinate. I was like, <laughs> if you ever say that to me again, that's the I'm going to murder you. That's the best <laughs> because that's, when you get to that level... Not only the influencers have a bullshit job, but the people who like hire the influencers have a bullshit job. It's all so bullshit. everyone's just bullshitting each other. Except just to try to stay like, all right, well the check will cash if we just yeah. keep saying these words. Right. It, the only difference is that these guys are making forty grand a month. I believe it. What I believe it, do? dude. Like, what would you do if you're, if if you're a teenager? You just said you, you're a college kid. You want three hundred bucks. If you're a teenager who's making forty thousand dollars a month, it's like Justin Bieber. It's like, of course you're gonna be an asshole who's like peeing in public yeah, and fucking Pulse. around because it's like you're too young and too rich. Yeah. Forty grand a month for doing nothing. For like nothing. doing a YouTube making it video. like a vine. That's Fuck like, those kids. I, man. I, I, would, I would go full blank check. And, you know, hard yeah, to just buy like actually. God, which, all, which, all the dumbest by shit. the way, let's let's side note on that. That's the biggest bullshit movie ever. It's a million dollars. It was a million dollars. But it was like 1995, man. That's a but lot of money. But you still couldn't. He had a he, mansion. He, he had, had a Mount Rushmore. Yeah. He had a fucking That's thing. No, that's Richard, 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 Richard. Oh. 
But classic mix-up. None, nonetheless, classic nonetheless, mix up. blank check was a uh, also. He, if he rented that house, he, everything makes sense. If he bought it, I agree with you. Okay. If he rented that he house, that'd rent. be fine. You How about even it. even he more? Rented for a month, it's probably like ten grand. John, even more weird than the financial implications was how the little kid was probably gonna fuck that like detective. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, it was yeah. like a big <laughs> time sexual love time. interest, and it was like Great you're movie. thirty years older than yeah. this kid. <laughs> Some Portnoy yeah. shit right there. He had the go karts. That was sick. Yeah, he had, he had a go kart in the yeah. backyard. For a he million had a, dollars. He had a slide from his fucking room. Come on. You can't. No, he, that's how you know he didn't rent. You Why? Can't, you, can, you can't. Nah, you can't add on a slide you on a rental. It, you can paint a wall if you paint it back. <laughs> you gotta get rid of the. You gotta get rid of the slide. <laughs> yeah. Just take, take it with the you. Slide down. <laughs> uh, after show. Do we, Wait, we talking about Kim Jong. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, Kim Jong. Because the nuns. I'm. I'm going back. Kim Jong. One of my favorite stories, or at least headlines ever. Kim Jong's on steroids. He, he's, he's got roid rage. That's why he's, he's, he's so That's bad. why he's like feeding Dude. people to dogs and blowing them up with rocket launchers because he's got the gout. And for the gout, you give him steroids. He's got roid he's rage. He's got gout? Roid rage, yeah. Oh, of course oh, he does. Gout's, it's the king's disease. I know. It's like, that's so awesome. And he's in North I think Korea. having gout Someone is in his so office has cool. gout, right? What's it? Sean, do you have gout? <laughs> you look like a guy who has gout. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, Coley's a gout, gout guy. You've had gout. No, he's got Come on, don't look at me. He's got the you got all the you got blood clots and, and vertigo. Gal would just got be blood clots and vertigo. Clots. That's outrageous. Like yeah. Gal would be par for the course. So he's looking at me yeah. like that's crazy. Either way. Current blood clots, like I've had them. This is you're the you're the disease guy. Yeah. You have you're, you're not exactly guy. like a walking bill of I, I health. Have, I have physical <laughs> ailments, you have the diseases. Yeah. Those are also internal. physical ailments. Yeah, but the diseases are different than like my shoulders busted. You you're a gout guy. And you're afraid of heights. I'm not a gout guy. Either way, Kim Jong like if you, I'm surprised that it took gout to get him to do steroids. If you were the the dictator of a whole entire country, like give me the fucking shit that will make me live forever. Right. Give me every. I want to be jacked. There's no repercussions. I don't know. I always think that too. But then like if I was Kim Jong, I'd be just a fat piece of shit too. No, but then someone's like, you could be a fat piece of shit, and then you just and, 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 and you no, you're you're fat piece of shit, and you just tell people like I I'm I on run steroids. The world. I'm ripped. Yeah. I what, what what did he shoot when he played 18? He shoot he shot a 36. Yeah, like that? something like that. 18. It was like all the whole. Uh-huh. Yeah. He shot 18. Yeah, he shot no, he, 18. I don't think he shot. No, yeah, he was, was he no. Don't be ridiculous. I think he shot like a 36. <laughs> yeah. He like double bogeyed one hole. Yeah. <laughs> Got to keep it real. It's yeah. Yeah. Keep it somewhat that's, realistic. That's, that's shooting an 18 is not believable. I think he this, was mid 30s. This kind of makes sense though where we're at now, like on a global stage, like we got. Uh, Trump, I'm pretty sure, isn't Trump, Trump like addicted to speed and like all kinds of weird like... Have to no, he says he's never done anything. But I think uh, he I mean, does like shit to keep up. Like, like he doesn't sleep. He doesn't sleep. 34. 34. 34. Okay. 30 First 30 guy on steroids. Okay. It's like, okay, let's, let's roll the dice. <laughs> that, <laughs> you know, imagine that, like, like, just like, think about like, you know, Anytime you've been up late with your friends doing drugs and yeah. the outrageous conversations you and have, then, yeah. as a world those, leader. those two are yeah, just, I mean, just imagine when you, yeah, you have roid rage and you're like, you, you, you know, you yell at someone at work. He has and you blow someone up with a rocket launcher. Yeah. He's fucking a dictator. That Ready a for combo. a segue? The only person worse to have the nuclear codes is uh, our guy Francis. Francis, Woo. what happened? This is this? your chance. He, Run down. He, Nate, he ran where, out where's of Nate blog? Barstool Radio. Come on. I don't even, I honestly don't know what's Francis, happening. Dude, Wait, he but you realize the, the only thing is if Dave was here, for, Dave would be like, Francis, you have to come on the rundown. But he wants to be on the rundown. Now's his chance. But I also, I also feel weird with him not being here. I want him to like Where's be Nate? He probably went home. Probably took it off early. Oh, he's downstairs. All right. Can, okay. you, can you explain to me what happened? Like, I, don't, I, I knew, I was told we have to have Francis and Nate on the rundown. So I don't understand the last week here. on Friday, I left at... 2.42 p.m. Okay. and Nate took a picture of me with a time stamp and then tweeted it out. You know, one of those asshole, like, they're going to have day, sort of. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sort of which I, those do happen all the time. Well, like, we make that joke all the time. Gaz makes that joke literally yeah, every yeah, single okay. time. Yeah, yeah, okay. Like, nonstop. Every Gaz, I'm actually that so immune to it that I don't even notice it. No, yeah. So I didn't respond on Twitter. I, tw- I texted him and I was like, you know, Nate, you and I have been getting along. Like, I don't, where did this come from? What's that? Hold up. Yeah, just go up and down with it like this. Put it like deep in your yeah. throat. There he is. Whoa! Do you have a, do you have a mic? Spider Monkey! Spider Monkey! I love seeing his face. Oh boy, I share a mic. We have potential for So I was just recapping. They, want, they asked to recap yeah. the story. Yeah. So I said, I, uh, last week on Friday, Nate, I left a little early. Nate took a picture and screenshotted it and then tweeted it out. I texted him and I was like, Nate, why would you do this? You and I have been getting along really well. I even 
mentioned that I empathize with some of the, the, the sort of more personal things that he's mentioned. You coming that deep with it. Yeah, yeah Ooh, wow. I was like, so in you light of this, you know, I, I don't know why you would have done this to me. I took it personally, I, you know, and I, I'm the first to admit that I have a very thin skin, probably one of the thinnest skin well, people ginger. in the office. Um, and then I kind of thought it was over with because uh, I just didn't respond on Twitter. I thought it was over with. And then... And then Nate came through with his string of texts that are wildly last dramatic. Last like, night... It's so disrespectful to the people who made this possible, Francis. Like, yeah, you your thread yeah. last night was wild. Like, well, and then, and then yeah, so, so then last night... <laughs> Uh, I, I'm, I'm not even commenting right now. I'm just providing the story. Last night, he started the tweet string again. And I was doing... Thread. It's called I was thread. like in a basement at Caroline's for four hours. And he... Uh, I, woke, I like came out of, of Times Square and Crowd saw this whole thing. And I had no idea what was going on. Well, Here. I'll tell you what's going on. You got spider monkeyed. Nate cannot help himself. He's a fucking oh. lunatic at this oh. point. So... The way I see it <laughs> is it was a very funny picture that was going to be tweeted whether I did it or somebody else in the office did because everybody knows that you lose your mind when you say congrats on the sex. You go, fuck you, motherfucker. So it was like a pretty funny picture that everybody knew was going to make you go crazy, which it did. Now, that being said, it was probably a little immature of me to perf purposely provoke you. I'll take that. But you also then lost your mind, and that was kind of the whole point, and it kind of builds on itself, and now here we are, and uh, so we, I think we, that's we, about we, that. And they came on Barstool Radio today, and things got very personal, and Francis then... Well, I, would just said, I was just saying to Smitty, you know, like, if I worked at any other office, and I know you're going to say, well, it's not like any other office. If someone, one of my coworkers took a picture of me leaving the office on a Friday at 2.42, and then sent it out for the world to see... I would take that person outside and beat the shit out of them. Like, <laughs> I mean, that's that's the case. People don't act that way. That's insane. That, that's what goes down in corporate America. That is insane. Yeah, there's no <laughs> office. That's what happens in like, other jobs. Francis is out there that cracking is like, skulls. It's like, like a UFC gym. Like, yeah. I mean, I mean, I'd lose my job, but like that's that would have been. I, w I was really angry about that. I gotta be honest. I'm Team Francis on this one. That line of thinking is crazy. That <laughs> but, in this no, I don't place think it's gonna be handled. I, I, let's was put it this way. Lynch, I'd have fucking <laughs> taken you into the break room. <laughs> Just to make it clear, it's not about the coming and going or the times or anything. It's about this reaction right here. You've Nate, changed your story. No. He's, he's changing his story. He's changing his story. You're trying to play like the way. calm that's, sort of like. That's a bullshit move. Yes. That's a bullshit move. Like you, you were trying to call this guy out for leaving early because you, you think he leaves early. Not that you were trolling him for the reaction, Nate. You yeah, because you send me, you send me a text. No, that's, that's, that's the big to last bullshit. You're like, well, at least you're talking about me. Wait, like, yeah, no, no, that wasn't. It's that not, wasn't and I can thing, prove that that's that not true from him because he, his first response to my text was, no. I just find it really disrespectful yes. that we have gotten Barstool to the headquarters in New York City and you would disrespect those of us who are sticking around by leaving that early. Because his text to me was something like, you made me look disrespectful, and I was like, you were the disrespectful one for leaving. I don't make you, you look you anything. disrespected the I company. See. Like the office of Barstool. <laughs> I'm T, I'm, 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 but, but no, here's okay, a, but here's, here's, here's the real issue, by the way. This yes. is what we need to rectify. There is no real issue. Uh, well, there should be, it's if so I were stupid. you, there'd be an issue. Francis said, uh, you are a shitty blogger and you're basically an intern. Yeah, here, that was that which was is like, pretty, holy so shit. So Nate is right, like Francis does get triggered, and like, Francis admits it. Yeah. I'm Team Nate just because Nate acting like he's everyone's boss is the funniest Nate. <laughs> like him being like, you don't respect this, like well, he does. this sacred yeah. land and is hilarious. There. I mean, <laughs> like that is funny. Whatever I, you get on I, uh, boss Nate. <laughs> Nate. Nate doesn't like the fact that I do stand up and that he thinks I'm using Barstool Sports as a platform to a further career. And what I don't understand is how my stand up life or my life outside of Barstool is like mutually exclusive or, or something that can't necessarily add to my work here. I show up here every day early, I write, I make videos, and I work hard. I don't think anyone would accuse me of not doing those things. I'm not one, shirking one my duties would, here. And he's half monkey. <laughs> yeah, and Nate, exactly. He. <sighs> what are you I doing just, tomorrow night? I'm, I, you know, I've got a sold out show at Caroline's, oh, oh. so. You know who's gonna be in the crowd? <laughs> Did you? 
I don't. I'm gonna blacklist Nate Are from you? this <laughs> show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm about to buy a ticket. I'll take go, his ticket. Will you? Go, I, like, I, this is gonna I'll be so mean. But will you go and heckle? Francis? I already have like he'll get kicked out. I have like, I have Trent's ticket. But it'll throw you off on it. What if they just yeah, like would throw you off? You have a microphone and him yelling. Why would I that heckle though? That's, that's true. You why would you? Oh, he said this on the radio. Shit. Nate is a professional heckler. Yeah, but he's like, why would thing. I heckle? Like, do you see what you're doing? Please do it. Just no, it's point. I don't think you There's guys zero, actually it's hate each other. That's a big show. I don't want to ruin that for Francis. Yeah. By the way, I don't think yeah, you guys actually hate each other. Though. Francis, next no, time he hates me. I don't hate him at all. The easiest solution for this one would have been like Nate. You like just last week you were saying how you hate when YP provokes you, and you just did the same right. thing to me. You should, instead of going with, oh, the, the, you're uh, my intern, I want to beat the fuck out of your life. <laughs> this whole thing. <laughs> that was aggressive. <laughs> okay. it I comes don't, down I to. Okay. <laughs> it's like, like, I feel like you had a layup to win this one, and then you just right. went with, I, I wish it. I could crush your skull in. I'm, I am fully aware, I, I am fully aware that I have a thin skin and that my reactions yeah, are not commensurate with the offenses against me. Having said that, I Nate. don't, I don't come at people anymore for that very reason. I will not attack people because I know that my reaction is going to be way out of line. That was crazy. He was like, you're, you're terrible at the But job what else am I supposed to say? Out. Like, I want to end the, I want to end the fight. You, well, you and Nate's fucking... Like, yeah. So, yeah, you're the cancer guy, where you're like, I hope you get well, cancer. Well, actually, you are literally the cancer guy, but <laughs> you're also like, the, you're, yo, I'm glad your mom has cancer, dude. I mean, like, uh, and, and not to, like, keep bringing it back to stand-up, but, like, if you have a heckler in the audience, you don't play a game with them. You shut them up. And that's what yeah, I no would life. do, is, like, I would be like, Nate, Listen, you know. But have you ever told a hey. heckler like, you're going to outside and beat the shit out of them? Francis. No, I've like destroyed their like family. But you but what you just said is exactly the problem with this issue is that you destroy a heckler, you end a heckler. This isn't a heckler. This is the spider You don't monkey. think Nate's a the, heckler? You the literally spider just no, asked him to come to my show tomorrow. The reason why the spider monkey yeah. is a spider monkey is he always comes back for more. He's the ultimate heckler. He, he is, he is a heckler, but he's like him. king But heckler. I just try, I literally do <laughs> everything I can to <laughs> stay <laughs> out he, of he's, this. He's, he's so unfazed. <laughs> yeah. He's so just thinking, cool he's just sitting there like, I'm just going to heckle. I'm just going to keep heckling. I don't care what he says. I'm just going to heckle. No matter what you say, he was literally just staring off into blank space. It's like, spider monkey. <laughs> oh my turn, what do you got? When it comes down to it, if I didn't tweet it, Smitty was gonna tweet it, and then it would have been a whole different thing between him and Smitty. I, I, I don't just shit. What? <laughs> no, I'm just saying, like you were gonna do it if I wasn't. So, I don't like, agree with that. I just think like people are always taking oh, yeah, pictures when we're leaving. Okay. Smitty, <laughs> would you have actually tweeted it? Mm. Smitty apparently I said I thought it was funny, but I wouldn't tweet it. Yeah. Nate says that it was you funny, said you just are you gonna tweet it? Because if not, I will. Yeah. All right, that was the conversation. Let me see this. It, it's it's almost neither here nor there because Nate, you're always the first one to tweet it. Do you know That's what I mean? Spider Monkey. You and you were the you were the one who broke the news that I didn't have cancer anymore before <laughs> I did. To be fair, you weren't gonna blog it and had to be blogged. <laughs> You just weren't Breaking going. someone else's fun. cancer news. There's one of the like, greatest that's, that's, moments that's, that's of fucks. my entire life. This is finding out that I didn't have cancer <laughs> and you were on your computer typing before I'd <laughs> even called my parents. <laughs> <laughs> this is, you weren't going to blog it. Yeah, happy yeah, this yeah, is doing my job. Amazing. Doing yeah, your job. To be this is like uh, when they find like a new slug in like South America they didn't know existed. France, you're, fi you're for the it's first time like monkey. seeing like... Ooh, what's this spider monkey? Talk to your boy. I've Smitty. never, I've never Smitty come across an animal like this. Like Feidelberg has yeah. perfected the art of dealing with Portnoy. Yeah. Smitty has perfected the art of, right. of the spider monkey. It's the spider monkey. The other thing you I would say is that, in my monkey. defense, I've only been here six months. All right? yeah, well, you, you guys are all monkey. so accustomed to this kind of craziness. And, well, and no one gets accustomed to spider monkey. Right. Spider monkey right. can get anyone off his game. Yeah. But even what Smitty, kind of who, who has fuck. this thing with he him all the time. He looks like old and calculated. Yeah. He's just like, yeah. he's just he's like leaning back. back. He's like, who else am I going to fuck with right now? He came into the radio studio yeah, today and he was like, just here to vlog. What's, just up? Here to vlog. What's, up? Here to vlog. What's up, guys? Yeah. Just here to fucking... I'm not... He goes, I'm here for the love. I'm here for the love. <laughs> what are you talking about? You all sick right. fuck. Just be careful, Francis. Spider Monkey, he doesn't quit. 7.30 tomorrow night. Sold out. Sold out show. I can't even get tickets.